So DLP isn't limited to Microsoft 365 workloads. And with Defender for Cloud apps, you can extend DLP to third-party cloud services like Box and Dropbox and Google. This involves creating a file policy. So go to Defender for Cloud Apps portal, which is security.microsoft.com, navigate to Cloud Apps, Policies, and Policy Management. And here we can create a policy, and we're going to select a file policy. So we could use a template here if we wanted to, but I'm going to give it a specific set of settings. So we will put in DLP policy and the category is DLP, which is fine. And we will just put in policy for sensitive sharing of content DLP. And then we can put in some of the filters that we want here. So we've got some content in here already, access level equals public, et cetera, et cetera. We can and last modified date. You can take that out if you want to, but add in specifically the filters that you want. So in this case, I'm going to put in file type equals document or spreadsheet. And you can put whatever filters in that you want and you can choose whether to apply this to all files or excluding selected folders and so on and so forth. Now here we need to select the inspection method and what we need to do here is select the data classification service and match if any or the following occur and we can change this to any or all and choose our inspection type. So we can choose between sensitive information type, exact data match, fingerprint, trainable classifiers, all the good stuff we've done before earlier in this series. We'll do sensitive information type just as an example, and we can select a couple here that we can put in and select done. And there we go. We're, and from here we can choose to inspect the protected files and this policy will inspect the content of Microsoft information protection, protected files. We can unmask the last four characters of a match. So by default, matches are completely masked and shown in their context, 40 characters before and after the match. So check this option to unmask so we can do that if need be. And then we can choose the alerts that we want for each matching file. We can save as default settings or restore default settings. We can send alert as email, set the daily alert Per policy limits, and we can do stuff in Power Automate as well by creating playbooks.